division of indices. Ready class? Now, if I say, what is 9 divided by 3? 9 divided by 3 equal? 3, three times 3 divided by 3 equal 3 times 1, 3 times 1 equal 3. Or 3 to the power 1. Right class? Correct? So if I say this, 3 to the power 2 divided by 3, can I write like this? 3 times 3 divided by 3 equal 3? Same thing? Yes or no? Yes. Right? Correct? Focus. You need a little bit focus here, okay? So next one, if I say x to the power 2 divided by x, this is equal to x to the power 2 divided by x equal x times x divided by x. So x times 1, x times 1 equal 1 times x divided by 1 equal x over 1 equal x or x to the power 1. Right, class? But when we, when we divide the same base, class, look here. When we divide the same base, so x to the power 2 divided by x to the power 1. So when we divide the same base, we subtract the power. So x to the power 2 minus 1 equals x to the power 1. The answer is same. You can do it using the fraction or you can do it by subtracting the power. Okay, class? What about this one? 2x to the power 4 divided by x to the power 2. Equal to 2 time x time x time x time x whole over x time x, right class? So x time 1, x time 1, x time 1, x time 1. What is left? 2 time x time x equal 2 times x times x divided by 1 equal 2x to the power 2. Okay? Or we can also do like this. 2x to the power 2 divided by x or 1x equal to 2 divided by equal to 2 divided by 1 multiply by x to the power 2 minus 1. Why minus 1? Because when we divide, we minus the power. Power minus power if the base is same. The base is same, x and x. Equal to 2 times x to the power 1 equal 2x to the power 1 equal 2x. Okay? It's equal 2x. Now, now let's take a harder, let's take a bigger problem. Ready? Everybody? Ready, class? Let's do something like this. Let's take y to the power 4 divided by x to the power 2. Can we do this? Can we do this? Say yes or no. No. Why no? Because the base is not same. We cannot divide this. So what can we do? y to the power 4 divided by x to the power 2. That's all. Okay? That's all. That's all we can do. Right? Now, if I say 4 divided by 2, this is number divided by number. How much is it? 2. What if I say 4 divided by a pen? Can we do this? No, because it is not the same thing. What if I say bed divided by pillow. Can we do this? No, we cannot. What if I say four bed? Four bed divided by two bed. Can we do this? What is four divided by two? Two. So left is two bed. So if the base is not same, you cannot divide. Okay? Right, class. So now let's take a good example. Let's take 121 x to the power 10, y to the power 4, and z to the power 15 divided by 
minus 11 x to the power 4 y to the power 12 and z to the power 9 pay attention because this will come in the final okay so class what do we do first thing this is plus 121 am i right okay so what is plus divided by minus how much is it minus so we know our answer will start from minus very good now what is 121 divided by 11 so it's minus 11 correct now what is x to the power 10 divided by x to the power 4 x to the power 10 minus 4 x to the power 6 same thing okay now what is y to the power 4 divided by y to the power 12 y to the power now be very very careful okay 10 minus oh my bad my bad okay so be very careful like me okay so it's 4 minus 12 am i right am i right yes or no glass okay good and what is z to the power 15 divided by z to the power 9 z to the power 15 minus 9 okay equal to minus 11 x to the power 6 y to the power minus 8 wonderful z to the power 6 so that's your answer simple okay anybody can do it okay now what about negative powers what if the powers are negative what do we do let's take minus 50 x to the power minus 6 y to the power 15 and z to the power minus 10 divided by minus 5 x to the power 10 y to the power minus 5 and z to the power minus 6 ready the same thing class nothing nothing hard just the same thing what is minus divided by minus it's always plus okay very good what is 50 divided by 5 10 very good now what is x to the power minus 6 divided by x to the power 10 x to the power minus 6 minus 10 very good minus 6 minus 10 and what is y to the power 15 divided by y to the power minus 5 y to the power 15 minus and minus 5 do not i say one more time do not make a mistake here okay okay now class last one z to the power 10 divided by z to the power 6 so z to the power minus 10 minus minus 6 now this will be a little bit harder not not harder you have to be a little bit careful okay ready so plus 10 is equal to 10 x to the power what is minus 6 minus 10 minus 16 wonderful very good now y to the power what is minus time minus plus so what is 15 plus 5 20 very good now z to the power again what is minus time minus plus what is plus time minus minus right now let's take this one this is equal to minus 10 plus 6 right class minus and plus is minus it's minus 4 why do we write minus 4 because 10 is the bigger number and 10 has minus okay so to the power minus 4 now this is your lovely and sweet answer that's all anything hard anything harder no it's not hard okay